our next mission involves the elimination of the Aardwolves. They're a band of ruthless criminals who'll commit any atrocity if it earns them coin. Our investigation into the demi-human attacks also revealed the Aardwolves to be linked to the Empire. The Empire? So that's the bigger picture. Stirring up domestic trouble to weaken us from within. Correct. And the Aardwolves leader, Hadi Solbe, is particularly notorious for his vicious crimes throughout the country. He's the one who arranged the attacks by the Goffrin bandits and the callous kidnappings of young women for Count Horace. The Duke feels we can ill afford inaction when our kingdom is already in dire straits. The Ardwolves have long been elusive, but we have at last found their camp in Udine, West Central Field. We can spring an ambush on them if we make a detour to the camp via the crags on the western side of the forest. Understood. We must vanquish them before they move camp. Well, Hadi, I had a good run, but I think the time has come to head for pastures new. You're leaving? Shiva, you traitor! I'll allow it. What are we, if not a bunch of drifters? All drifters get a chief heat eventually. I knew you'd understand, Hadi. And you never know, I might come back if the fancy takes me. Don't you get cocky with me now. This isn't a brothel you come to when you feel lonesome. <laughs> if only it was. Take the stuff and get lost then. We'll prepare a surprise for the uninvited guests. Over to you, Josel. We'll regroup later. Looks like it's glowing. Jade crystals. The Udine forest is under royal government control. It is used as a jade mine. This is what the bandits were after all along. Most likely. Jade deposits are also have said to have been found in the Regia Highlands recently. And we heard that Hadi had ties with Goffrin's bandits. The web is starting to reveal itself. The Aardwolves seem to be well prepared, don't they? Indeed. Almost as though they knew we were coming. Perhaps they're looking to be rid of us for good. This may require stealth. Once the patrolling guards have been dealt with, we'll take the turret. There are plenty of guards over there as well, and they're sure to see us coming. So, either we create a diversion to make an opening, or attack head-on, all at once. It's up to you, Ries. Just make sure you keep an eye out for things we can use to our advantage.
my way. Understood. The gate is open. Now we can move ahead. Aye. But look. Whoa. That is a lot of guards, and they've got two turrets. Looks like they know who they're dealing with. We'll need to observe their patrol routes and time our attacks carefully. Understood.
push forward. Yet another foe defeated. Understood. Very well. It's been secured. Understood. Got it. That seems to be the last gate. We then deal with their boss, and that should be that. Let's not be complacent. He's the Ardwall's leader. We don't know what ploys he has prepared. The unknowns are what make things fun. Here's hoping he puts up a fight before perishing. Right away. Very well. Harry Solbe. He's not here. He must have slipped away while his underlings were keeping us busy. Blast! We fight through all the hard walls and still fail to get the one man we're after. Our mission is not accomplished so long as he remains alive. But we should return home for now.
seem I've grown stronger. Lady Walterquin, you have a visitor. Who? It is I, Shivat Maltzin. I do say you are looking radiant as ever. The art wolves fall prey to the blue foxes, but their leader, Hadi Solbay, manages to escape. As the group considers how best to track him down, they are paid a visit by one Shivat Maltzen. He had once been a retainer for House Redditch, and more recently, a high ranking art wolf. Though he showed no hesitation in divulging the location of Solby's hideout, it seems he has taken to hiding in a cave near the Rio Dale River in Central Field. The unit are all set to depart for the river when they receive an unexpected visitor. It is Duke Hende himself, Lord Counselor and Patron of the Blue Foxes. This is everyone, I believe. Splendid. Please be at ease. My presence should not be cause for alarm. Firstly, I must commend your efficient elimination of the Odd Wolf Thieves. Alas, the leader of these bandits, Hadi Solbe, remains at large. Have you been able to locate him? Fret not, Duke Hende. We have received information that he is in hiding in a location near the Rio Dale River. That news is very good to hear. I doubt I need to stress how vital it is that you apprehend or kill this traitor. My sources also report that he possesses jade of exceptionally high quality. You will retrieve it from him, and you will utter not a word of this matter to anyone. And thus, your true goal lies in the jade, then. As you say, I will not deny it. You will recognize it as soon as you see it. Its superior brilliance is unmistakable. Is that so? And just what exactly does your grace intend to do with this jade, pray tell? All you need to know at this moment in time, Walter Quinn, is that the fate of our nation depends on this mission. Such a grandiose statement. Personally, I don't care what happens to the country. Hmm. Keep your thoughts to yourself, Walter Quinn. Stop loitering around, Shivat. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm still getting used to my new environment. You do understand that we're not on your side, don't you? Once an art wolf. But <laughs> you wanted me on your side when you asked me to join the unit. That wasn't a matter of taking sides. I merely recognized you as a potential asset, that's all. An asset? Huh. I see. Then I had better make sure that I am of use to you. Yes, you had. Perhaps I should start by entertaining you with tales of Walter Quinn's past. Later, perhaps. Hmm. As you wish.
Got a sec? Hmm. To be honest... Hmm. What do you think? This should do it. I'm counting on you. Aye. Requesting support. Thanks. How about it? Very well. Got a moment? Not bad. Before I forget. What difference does that make? <laughs> yeah. Aye. 